Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day and now it's after work. I'm Joe. Welcome back to Nintendo Spotlight where every week games come out on the eShop. I go through, see if what's interest, and occasionally we get a review code. So thank you, Thunderful Games and Image Inform, for providing me with a review copy for SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamesh on the Nintendo Switch. Um, fail on me for not getting the price, but I believe it's $24.99, so we will double check that real quick and then get into the game. But, um... But yes, it. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, why is the dog crying? Um. Oh, dang it! It's not gonna say it on here. Oh. <laughs> oh man, someone look it up for me, please. But I believe twenty four ninety nine is the price point. Uh, if someone wants to correct me on on the stream side, so that way we have that correction while we play this game. Um, it is a card based, uh, card turn based, uh, RPG. Um. There are a handful of characters in this game, and uh, to avoid certain story spoilers I cannot show you guys, I'm going to skip some things around and get into just the gameplay side of it. So this one's going to be treated a little differently than what we normally do on Nintendo Spotlights. And before we get started, I really have to check on the dog because I think someone rang the doorbell and that wasn't from this apartment, and now he's like really howling. And without further ado, let's jump in. Sorry about that. Um... So yeah, as you can see, we have that file there. I can't show past a certain chapter, and I am past a certain chapter, so I cannot use that. So we are going to start brand new game. We are going to go in night mode, and here we go. This is the meaning of what? All right, nope. All right, so chapter one. <laughs> I'm sick. Whiskey has failed. No! L1, dude! I think this is the first time I've ever heard you being sick. Or saying the word sick. And saying that you actually are sick. Alright, so... We will skip through. Uh, again, I apologize. I'm just following rules here. Um, <laughs> so, we have two characters right now that we just started off with. Armelie and uh, Copernica. Um, Armelie is more of your uh, strength-based uh, character. She's like a warrior type. Copernica, on the other hand, is all is a um, magic magic-based and can also and also obtains cards throughout the game that um, help with you know he uh, not healing but like um, a lot of defensive type stuff and status ailments a bit. Um, in terms of like uh, dispelling and um, being able to increase, uh, put a little shield on your characters and whatnot. So, you can also interact with certain things and destroy them. I personally love Copernica in this game. Like, I played the entire game with like switching to Copernica specifically. Um, Alright. So, right now, we're really just going through the bases. Of the game and I can explain everything here so alright this is our first uh, first battle now once they actually allow you to kind of like roam around through in the game um, when you encounter enemies you have a chance to kind of hit them and so that'll give you a little bit of an advantage when you jump in but um you have three different card types I believe they are all here no they aren't all here so the first two strike which is that little sword icon over there and then you also have this wrench icon which is the upgrade card type um, both of these will allow you to uh, increase SP, they call steam pressure in this game, which is that gear that's above the Joe After Work logo there. It's kind of blocking it a little bit, but it's up there in the center. And um, you need to build that, and we'll eventually get the next card, which is called a skill card, and I'll get into that in a moment. But um, each character has their own specific cards, and they're only allowed to hold up to eight different types of cards. So we're going to go Hero Strike... Um, actually, let's see if it'll allow us. No, it won't allow us to do that. So, what I will do, and here we go. This is that mana barrier that I was just telling you about before, which will give us a little bit of a uh, extra, uh, extra shield. So that way, it, they'll have to break the shield through first. There you go. You can kind of see it in blue right there, and it kind of dipped down a bit based on that enemy attack. And so we've got three gears there, which here is our skill card here for um Copernica and it's a flame wave and the damage was the damage and elemental is indicated right above the name of the thing um the upper left corner is the icon for skill cards and the upper um sorry the upper left corner is the icon for skill cards and the upper right is um the amount of steam pressure 
that is required to use this attack. Otherwise, it it'll be grayed out and won't let you use it. So what we'll do here is we'll build up some more with two attacks. Bam. Um, bravado. You can actually see the description here. Uh, heal here. And we'll do Bravado with the homie. And then we will go. It's an attack all. So bam. And your attacks won't always do the amount that's on that card. Um, it's gonna, it's a variable, it'll change that, it'll, that'll just indicate that that is the max that that card will attack. And as you level up, those cards will increase in attacks as well. Is this like Slay the Spire? I've never played, played Slay the Spire. But I guess, if, if that's the case. Alright, so we got Brave Buster, and like I was saying, yeah, Armelie's sort of like your, your, your typical warrior type there. Boom. And, uh... Oh, look at that. We have enough to do another skill. Bam. Booyah. Bejeebus, what's going on, fam? Booyah. All right. They should have they should have used a mechanic from the second Steam World game, the the turn the turn-based shooter. Oh, Steam World Heist? Uh, the the uh the thing with um with image and form that I've come to notice, so this is talking about items where, and I'll get to that in just a minute, actually. Um, so yeah, of course, you know, items pretty standard. You also have accessories that you can equip on characters, materials that you collect to craft. Um, eventually, you'll get a shop in this game, and you'll be, uh, or you'll you'll find a person that runs a shop, and you'll be able to craft cards and whatnot. So you'll need materials and money for that as well, and then of course your weapons, which you'll equip. On said person. Boom. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? Yo, fam. Yo, Panage, what's going on, fam? Um, hit me hard, dude. I was up almost all night. Ah, oh, L1. I'm sorry, man. So there we go. They're talking about preemptive strikes, and boom. We just got it right there. Now, they should have a little bit of damage taken down. Um, and that's just talk. Yeah, so there you go. 46 and 52, right? Uh, out of 52 for both of them. Um, so here's the thing. Let's say, and this will play part of your strategy. Let's say you don't have the right cards to build a combo that you want. Th again, this is all randomized, but to the left of me here is the amount of cards that you have in your deck at the moment until it resorts again and the amount that you could swap within that turn. So if I hold X, it'll swap it out, it'll give me a card. It's not always guaranteed that it'll be a card that you want because everything is randomized there, but let's say a character dies, those cards are no longer usable, and if you haven't revived them, you're not gonna be able to use those cards. So that's another way where this uh, this swapping stuff is actually gonna come into uh, be r really handy here. But uh, let's go boom. Boom and boom. Book smack, yo. Would you smack people with a book? Undertale logic, yo, fam. All right, boom, Armily, Copernica. We're gonna do that, and we'll go for a strike. But Rue, Crumply, Panage, Weary Lord, L1, what's all going on? Yo, L1, get some rest, dude. You work way too hard. <laughs> like, you're up at, like, all... You, you, I, 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 I say I'm almost as bad as L1. L1 is on a whole other level, dude. That man literally never sleeps. Boom. And there you go. You get experience points. You get rewards, coins, and whatnot. Seems sort of like it, but it could be could be different. Uh, oh, that game that you mentioned is a turn-based shooter. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I'm not even fam familiar with it. That's why. Boom. Let's see if we can uh, get this get this big baddie down. Boop and boop and oh no. Well, I didn't want to do that. So remember, upgrade cards, the wrench and strike cards are the ones that you're gonna build up those steam points with. The steam pressure, sorry. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that, we're gonna build up the bro actually I should have done that all in reverse, but whatever, it's fine. Boom. Alright. Bam, bam, and 
Brave Buster. Let's go. Oh yeah. Not much played some Smash at college. Felt okay. One one match. Oh hell yeah. Panage going in. Boom, boom, and boom. Let's go. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Steel Bracer. All right, so that's just teaching about new equipment. So let's take a look here at the equipment. Uh, Steel Bracer, so we can get health plus 20%. So what I did actually was I like keeping a balanced team as much as I can. So if I find someone has lower health than another character, I try to raise them up. And so that's why I'm giving Copernica, who has lower health, um that uh that steel bracer and also there's a percentage for collectibles in each level and so and that's your save statue right there boom um keep in mind when you save the game all the enemies that you've defeated before respawn so that's kind of like a good way to grind out a little bit copy nika looks so adorable dude she she makes this game for me Seriously, she makes this game for me. It's the only reason I pick her. They and and I thought that Armalee was like the um was was sort of like made out to be the main main character of sorts, but um but I didn't care. I was like, yo, I'm all about Copernica, fam. So if you go back, let's say we go back up here now that we saved, Homeboy's gonna still be there, and then we can just grind out and gain some more experience that way. However. This is a good thing to keep in mind if you're uh, grinding out and you notice that you come to like a complete halt in XP. Like there, this is where a little bit of the uh, of the uh, grinding I feel bugs me just a bit. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me or anything, but you'll go from like gaining like 100 XP per battle to just getting 5 XP the very next battle. There's no like middle ground or like slowdown of like less XP for the thing. They kind of like cap you at that chapter how high they allow you to gain a level. Um if you're in, so that way you don't you avoid getting too OP for a battle. Hiyo Kirina. <laughs> <laughs> balanced lull all right so we found they were looking for a mushroom they found the mushroom that they needed and bam <laughs> now we got a giant one so now they're talking about you know focusing on elementals and whatnot and what that can do so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go attack attack um i'm gonna give copernica that health advantage Boop. Rudy says hi, yo, Rudy. What? Hold on, hold on, hold up, yo. All right, we're back. <laughs> Joe after Kappa. <laughs> Was that my Kappa face? Oh man. All right, we're gonna keep building up here. I'm gonna get Mana Bar there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll go Brave Buster. I mean Brave Buster. Jesus Christ. This is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, bravado. <laughs> yo, Sim. What's going on, dude? <laughs> Days gone tomorrow, dude. I guess so. I guess I'm still I'm I, I, I guess I'm picking it up because of the poll was still like yes for days gone so we'll see how it is tomorrow <laughs> I'm still I'm still weary about that one not gonna lie um boom we'll go with that triple <laughs> Keishi what's going on dude twitch.tv slash Keishi sorry what's going on everybody go follow Keishi sorry Keishi sorry Keishi sorry Keishi sorry all right, so we're poisoned up in here. Uh, let's see, boom, fire, fire, because it's a mushroom. We're gonna burn it. Should take some big damage. There you go, you can kind of see the weak on there. Damn, all right. Uh -huh. Times three that, let's give Armley that, and let's go another, boom. Fire's gonna be our best friend here. He's just for, for partner. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hold on. Uh, bam. Bam. Let's go. Let's just wreck shop right now. I can get it. Uh. 
hyped NFL draft. I pre-ordered my P CPU and mother... Damn, dude. Yo, spared no expense. Sold his PS4, and he's like, yo, fam, we're going in. All in. S Sim is all in on the PC. Sim is all in on the PC. But yo, hey, Chachi, what up? Yo, I'm down here. Can you see me? Can you see me? I don't think you can see me! I wonder if anyone's able to actually zoom in and see my, the face I'm making. You know, that makes me really dizzy <laughs> when I do that. I should stop. <laughs> oh, man. I get so lightheaded doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Joe after passing out on stream right now. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, man. So can we talk about the fact that Joe is turning other people's wallets into black holes as well? I mean, what's new? <laughs> Listen, if I got to go down to black hole, y'all are coming with me, okay? I can't be the only one. All right, we should be able to finish this. Oh, uh, Mushroom's about to get the book club. Let's go. And that and the good thing is that if you pass out, you could be the next resident sleeper. Oh my god! Not if I'm not on the camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. So Armelie's whole deal is she wants to be part of their like village's guild. Um, she just wants to be part of the hero guild. Um, she doesn't come from any, uh, any like, royalty or anything like that. Her parents were grocers, and, uh, the armor that she has, and the sword that, and, uh, stuff that she has is all hand-me-downs and whatnot. Um, Copernica, she dropped out of college, but she's still, like, the book, uh, like, super smart and, like, a bookworm and everything like that. And she is all about, like, the alchemical stuff, and she, she's all magic, as you can see her throwing the fires and whatnot. And you'll get other elemental stuff as you go along in the game, and you find a lot of hidden stuff. Um, like I was mentioning before, the percentages and whatnot, there are, you can 100% complete each chapter because each chapter has, like, all these hidden treasure chests and whatnot, so... If you spend time looking around, there are hidden areas, too, to keep an eye for in order to 100% complete um, getting all the treasure in each chapter as well. Bam. <laughs> Clip it, please. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, oh, there you go. So here we go. We're going to be able to check out the shop. I can't see. Blind. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got two cards for Armelie and two cards for Copernica. Ah! <laughs> I just noticed that the little I the little um blue the blue thing on her on on her um on her shop is Fen from steam world dig 2 <laughs> i just noticed that dude i've spent 10 hours on this game and i just caught that all right so let's see can we okay no she's not ready just yet but 
this is what I was talking about before about building your decks and whatnot. Um, oh, oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, but I do want to get shout in there. Uh, heroic strike, bravado, brave buff. Yeah, we'll keep it there. So this will be more important as you go through the the uh, later half of Act One um, in this game. So right now, I think we're good. I don't have anything other. I don't think, uh, oh yeah, we have creeping cold there, so I can show you guys that. And I will sacrifice a mana barrier for the. Actually, no, I'll sacrifice a fire pillar. We'll add a mana barrier because mana barriers are like super handy. Boom. I'm going lurk mode. Draft's about to start. Yo, Sim. Do 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 do. Dude, you're making me want to order a, tw a 2080 Ti. God damn, yo. Ah, yes. Forgot about that. Okay, so because I had the game already set to speed up, um, which you can change right there into systems, which I kind of recommend because the game does run a little bit slow in terms of like the characters and whatnot um you can always set it to toggle speed up so you will have to hold zr by default to run around and speed up the battles or you can just toggle this speed up and zr will instead have your character walk around but i always have it set to speed so i just play it that way <laughs> boom all right, so the town's on fire right now. <laughs> and we got to figure out what's going on. The hero guild is actually over here. Next Thursday? Wait, what's next Thursday? Oh, you buying your car, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, the CPU and the motherboard. <laughs> the butchin. I knew it. Yo, Draco. Draco knows me too well. <laughs> Scary. 980 Ti starting to be a pain point on my current build though yeah my my entire old setup was just uh starting to uh crumble slowly but surely so i i had to all right so shout for armalee actually lowers the physical attack i believe of the enemies right yeah physical strength sorry sorry for not using the right terminology all right uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba boom all right there we go 2063 Founders Edition, but can't now. That was the that was the one you were talking about before, right, Somo? Bam, bam. Excuse me. And I do like the battle music too. It is catchy as a heck. For an RPG, you need some good battle music, so. It's nice, it's not overbearing, it keeps me in. Damn. That bravado. Alright, creeping cold, let's go. Oh, I honestly was not paying attention that time. I thought it was gonna kill hom homie. Boom. Bam. I'm not gonna need it, it's fine. Brave Buster. Flame Wave, let's go. Doopity doop. Shoopity doo up. But yeah, feel free to ask any questions uh, about the game if you guys have any. Hopefully, I've been answering them as uh, we're going along. But that's more or less uh, been the uh, basics of the game. Sorry, I'm just like trying to organize. Uh, cable here. Boom. Alright, let's figure out what's going on. Oh, Galeo. There we go. <laughs> he just kind of joined, so we're getting our third party member here. Boom. And so, Galeo, he is clutch. I've continued to use his uh, um, him throughout my entire playthrough of the game. And, um, so he is both brute strength and a healer as well. So he is super handy to have on the team as well. And there you go. And you can actually just swap out what character you're moving around with. Oh, that poor little doll there. Uh, but yeah, you can do that at any point. Um, that is the way to go. So let's do that. Bam. 
Yeah, the 2060 Founders Edition has USB-C that works for USB and or video. Ooh. All right, so let's see. Let's go bam, bam. Let's get that shout. And some cards will say, um, some skill cards will just be zero. Um, but it won't, but it doesn't mean it'll give you more steam points. It'll actually just not lose a steam point is all, a steam pressure is all it is. All right, so that was just showing you the menu screen here if you want to use any of your items in there. Bam, bam. All right, here we go. So you see these, uh, that highlighted thing that's happening around there. That means the weapon that he has will give him an additional attack depending on what weapon you have equipped on your character when you do this um, will indicate whether you have an offensive fourth uh, fourth move or a defensive fourth move so we'll see what he has right now I forget but uh, I'm gonna go wrecking ball with this and it's highlighted like that because the first two attacks were also using Galeo also so it's gonna add a chain there we go so yeah it's guardian so Boom, that's going to increase defense and heal me a bit, which is nice. Oh, heal the whole party. There we go. That's nice. Bam, let's do... Gravado. Hero strike, and then boom. Ah, oh, there we go. Boom. Let's do it. We got Lionheart. Bam, and bam. Let's see, can we up? Yes, we can. Boom, boom. And I really, I've kept the uh, the barrier field perk. I've chosen weapons that give um, Copernica the barrier field perk because that has come in handy in boss battles. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, there we go. Hit an item there. Boop. Oh, that is going to be stupid handy. Gigaton punch. Let's go. All right. Um, so, yeah, now I have to figure out what I'm going to lose here. I'm going to give away a steam punch there. Boom. Why are they shaking so much? Cool, Pat. What's going on, dude? They're not shaking as much as in um, the princess guide. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Oh wow, everything's all... Oh, let's get rid of that mage first. That mage is going to cause problems. I hate problems. As you can see, he's just going to keep healing himself. I do not like that. Set Sam I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to continue the offense on the homie here because I just, I can't. The, I, the mages are always a problem for me. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Ooh, and you saw those uh, status uh, decreases on him too. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go. Now we can actually see Barrier Field. Alright, let's go, let's go. And heal the homie. Because uh, you don't reheal. Your your health doesn't automatically reheal after battles. So it's like traditional JRPG, uh, tr traditional RPGs where you actually have to like Keep an eye on your your health after a battle's over. And boopity doop. Bam, bam, bam. Boop. All right, so here we go. We found ourselves in a pickle here. Um, I'm going to do that. Bam. Bam. Let's go. Boop. 
Got him. Let's go. And get a ton punch. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's done anyway. We're good. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. Um, we're just checking out some Steam World quests. <laughs> Haikuba, dude, what is up? How you been, dude? How long? How long has it been? I miss my Haikuba. A Haikuba. Haikuba. <laughs> dude, how have you been? All right, so we're gonna spend this uh, little bit of time here, just grinding just a little bit. Plus, I want to explore an area that I didn't just explore before. Um, usually, it's pretty easy to indicate when you're about to approach a boss. That safe that save point right there is pretty much our indication that hey, there's a boss in that next area. So, I want to just uh, level up a little bit more, so I feel more comfortable about going through with that boss battle there. <laughs> Good. Well, not today. I'm home with a migrant. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Freaking dude, rest, rest up. Take that medicine if you can. Well, I'm glad you're doing good otherwise, man. Oh, wow. Okay, wrecked. <laughs> there we go. Well, not today. Uh, oh, wait, I just read that. Sorry. Uh, Minecraft, I'm in the beginning process of recreating Castletown, the Temple of Time, Ganon's Tower from Ocarina of Time. Yo, you're going in, dude. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Um, I was going to start a new Ocarina of Time challenge today, but I had last uh, uh, last second trouble getting it set up. Dude. Are, have you been doing, like, those crazy randomizers like Max has been doing? Dude, he's been he's been going in on these like wild randomizers. I'm just like, I love Ocarina Time, and I can remember the first three dungeons like the back of my hand. I can, I, I that is like next level. I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> my brain just doesn't know how to put all that in into memorization. <clears throat> there we go. We got our chain going on. Boom. BRB, no worries, Crumply. Crumply, do. All right, so level five. Let's see how long, because I do want to show you guys that, like, weird, like, cap if we can get it for, like, just being and being, staying on this chapter and, like, leveling up to a certain point. I'd like to start it again. I do regular challenges, weird controllers, no sword, no shield, blindfolded, etc. Jeez. Dude. I always props to that because like that stuff it sounds awesome when you're like it like it looks awesome too when you're like actually watching someone else i i dude yeah i would just freak out like trying to do any of that stuff <laughs> no matter how many times i've played that game Blindfolded look, uh, took nearly six months to beat. I think I was there one time when I saw you do a blindfold run. Either that or you showed me clips of it, and I was just like... But yeah, sorry for those of you jumping in. Um, we're playing a game called Steam World Quest: Hand of Gilgamesh. It's part of the Steam World Dig series. Um, it just dropped today. Um, we were gracious enough to be offered a review code for this game, so I've had it for about a week and a half. Um, we're going through a new game just so I can show you guys sort of the beginning and uh, mostly the gameplay and kind of explain what's going on. Forgot to follow, weren't you at TwitchCon? Yo, Phoenix, dude, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> Dude, what's going on? Yeah, I was at TwitchCon. Dude, yo, the man with the most beautiful beard I have ever seen. Dude, what's going on? Oh, man. Yo, my notification still hasn't gone through. Streamlabs, what is happening? Why you no work? You just worked earlier for the raid. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. I, I talk smack to Streamlabs and it goes. Phoenix Ryan making Sam is doing Will Walker. You know Space Bounty Hunter could. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the After Work crew. Peeps, can we get some love for the homie, the myth, the legend of Phoenix Ryan? And if you are not following Phoenix, he's an awesome variety streamer as well. So, fam, please go check him out. Show him some love. It's going, buddy. How are you, dude? I'm doing good, man. Just uh, been playing this. Freaking, I'm, I'm just happy I'm not at work right now. <laughs> <laughs> just chilling out relaxing um i want to at least show this boss battle and uh, also try to see if i can emulate that grinding issue that i was having there was an update right before i started streaming so i'm wondering what that update was it was probably some bug fixes maybe um which i didn't encounter any bugs in the 10 hours that i did play of this game so far i'm almost finished with the game um i'm working on a review for the youtube side um so that way I can have that up over the weekend. Tomorrow, I'll be discussing this game with Lizabel as well, who's also been playing this game. And um, we'll do something similar to what we did with um, 12 is better than 6. Um, on uh, We did it like a few weeks back, so we're going to do something similar there. What game it is, by the way? Uh, it's uh, Steam World Quest, Hand of Gilgamesh. Um, it's on the Switch. I believe it's on PC as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the other two consoles, though, but I believe it is on Steam? Oh, someone want to check that for me? <laughs> Alright, everything's on fire, bam. This village is on fire! I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing hidden around. Anything, anything, anything. All right, there was that, there was that. And hold on, before I go there, because I know that that is the way. Yeah, no, yeah, we're good. All right, we explored everything that we could. Hopefully, we get the 100%. Um, I can't remember what level I was when I beat this boss initially, but doesn't appear to be on Steam. Well, damn, this might be a temporary exclusive, a timed exclusive. Hold on. I'm going to find out right now. Let me get that info for you. I have this stuff up. Um, Steam World Quest, let me find out what's going on. But, but, gotta pull up the info right now. We're gonna do, gonna look it up. I got the Dropbox link, yeah. What's the facts? Tell me what's the facts. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so it is Switch only right now. Which, uh, $24.99 across the board. Except for the pound one, which is $22.49. I guess that equates to $24.99 here in the U.S. Um, but wow, yeah. I for some, Why did I think PC? I guess because I just automatically assumed in my head that everything is out on PC already. <laughs> but here we go. This is going to be our first boss battle here. I love SteamWorld Dig, but I always felt it was a tad short. They So yeah, Dig 2 came out, and, and that was a little bit longer. Um... I heard Heist was good. I never played Heist, actually. I played 1 and 2, um, although I never fully beat 1 and 2, so I kind of want to go back on that. And um, I hear Heist is um, RPG-based-ish as well. And I'm a sucker for RPG games, so I've, of course I, I, I had to I had to go in on this one. <laughs> um, let's do this. Play one and two. Also, didn't play heist. Yo, dude. Oh my goodness. They may. They seem to be making some references to two. There was like a little fen charm on the uh, on the thing there. Bam. Let's go. Uh, gigaton punch. Oop. Wah, 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 wah. Um, mark my target. I hate this dude. This, uh, not for nothing, this dude took me a, a bit to actually beat the first time around. Um, wow, nothing but skill cards. Way to go, Joe. Okay, um, let's make it count. One. And we will heal Copernica. Ah. Uh, oh, God, really? Alright, I'm gonna get rid of a wrecking ball. 
I yeah. I don't want to not lose a turn there. Why is there no game selected? What do you mean, Genie? By the way, what up, Genie? Ooh, ooh. And let's go Wrecking Ball for the higher damage there. Stop draining my strength, fam. I don't appreciate that. All right. Galeo, let's give him... Oop. I love the little mumbling. Kind of reminds me of like Banjo Kazooie, where they're all. All right, Mana Berry to Armory. And what do we have? We have four. Okay. Buster and Mend. Let's go, Copernica again. Under your name, the thing on the side is a blank. I updated the information. I don't know why that is. Then, huh? Weird. I'm gonna go to the actual channel and see what's up. Boop, shout, bam. Oh, that is weird. I wonder if that's a Twitch thing going on because I do have, I do have it listed as Steam World, and all of a sudden now it's not showing up. Hold up. There we go. Okay, let's try that again, and I'll update it. Hmm. Let me go back to the channel. Let's see. Oh, that is interesting. I guess Steam World Quest, even though it's in the system on the dashboard, it's not there on the channel end. Let me see if I switch it to Steam World Dig and see if the same thing happens. Because if it does, then it's a Twitch thing. Bam. Bam. Oh, it showed up for a second there, and then it disappeared. Yeah, that's a total Twitch thing. I wonder what the hell the deal with that is. It literally just showed up, and then it disappeared again. All right, I'm just going to switch that back to hand to Gilgamesh. Bam, bam. Bending. Copernica. But yo, Genie, what's going on? Stay down. Stay down. Try to build up this meter here. Uh, Armory, bam, and let's go fire pillar first. Has it only been just added to the game database? That might be why. So when I put in Steam World Dig on the thing, the same thing happened. It showed up and it just like quickly disappeared. Come on, come on. It appeared now? That's so weird. Oh no, <laughs> I was not paying attention to Copernica's health. All right, and I don't have, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, let's see. How can we best do this? Let's do that. Is it Hand of Gilgamesh though? Or is it still, still what I put before SteamWorld Dig to try to test it? <laughs> Bam. Let's do that. Let's lower. Swap that out. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, let's lower defense. So it's messed up like the last, last remnant was. Hand of Gilgamesh? All right, good, good, good. All right, so let's see. What are we going to do here? Bam. Bam. Repair vial. We're going to go that. Ugh. We're so close, too. Boom. Oh, I could have just killed him on that turn. I have had I done my math right. <laughs> Boom. And why will bring you to being able to use less than three cards right there. Yeah, but I really enjoy the the card battle system on this one. It just kinda just kinda works. <laughs> oh come on. You're killing me, video game. You're going to end up killing me. I swear, if I die on the two, oh, <laughs> if we die at two, 
Bam, let's go. We're not losing this. Got him. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Stopped him. Mm. All right, there we go. Boom. So we still haven't resolved the fire issue, but... Damn, 80% complete? What the heck did I miss? All right. So I think that's a good place to stop this episode of Nintendo Spotlight. We're going to still continue with the stream. We are going to go and continue our full playthrough now of Mortal Kombat 11. But for the breakout video over on YouTube, um, this has been Nintendo Spotlight. We... Blah. Why did I mess that up so bad? I totally messed that up so bad. Why? 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 Anyway, this has been Nintendo Spotlight. Steam World Quest. Why am I blanking on the name? Hand of Gilgamesh for the Nintendo Switch, twenty four ninety nine. Um, apparently, my mistake. I thought it was on more than just Nintendo Switch, but apparently, it is just Nintendo Switch. Which I'm not surprised because most of the Steam World games start on a Nintendo console. Uh, whether it's the 3DS or the Wii U and whatnot, so I I should not be surprised about that. But anyway. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking it up, if uh, this video helped you at all in explaining the kind of, uh, that not really complex rules, they're pretty straightforward and they do a really good job in the tutorial process, but um, there you have it. If you enjoyed what you saw here, give it a like, share it with friends, let me know what we do here. We play video games after work and we spotlight the amazing devs over at uh, Image and Form and Thunderful Games. Thank you again for the review copy and I will see you guys next time. So with that, take care. Love y'all.